and welcome back everybody. So today I thought I would bring you a video uh, just showing you how I go ahead and clean up my white uh, discolored bricks. Uh, they tend to yellow over the years uh, and a lot of that's because of the sunlight. So that is what you also use to get the color to come back is sunlight. So I'm actually going to show you how to do this because I, I've got a couple of days here that's going to be really nice. So I thought I'd go ahead and at least get some of these out to uh, get uh, cleaned up and see what we can do. So let me switch to a different view so I can show you what I'm looking at here. Okay, so you see here in front of me I've got four small tubs of bricks. Uh, these are white discolored. I, that's supposed to be white. It looks more tan, but it's definitely a white brick. Uh, this one here is a light gray, an old light gray, and you can see the discoloration in that, in that uh, piece as well. So all of these I'm going to go ahead and put in a hydrogen peroxide bath. Uh, it doesn't require anything other than just your regular standard hydrogen peroxide as you see there oop made a mess all right so i'm just going to add this stuff in and here actually it's going to be easier if i take the lid off it'll pour a lot faster so we'll just gently pour, making sure that it is above all the bricks. And really, I should be wearing a glove because it's going to really dry out my skin. You want enough hydrogen peroxide that it definitely covers all the bricks. And I got another bottle. Hopefully, it'll be enough to get me through what I need here. All right, so I got those filled up. And so next step is to take them outside. Okay, so as you can see, I've got these all placed out here in the sunlight. And I just want to make sure that, again, that these are all down into the solution. And that one kind of feels a little full, so I'm going to go ahead and move some of those bricks over to a different one. All right, so then what we do is we just let it sit and we check on it every couple of hours uh, just to make sure that uh, you don't get a whole lot that are sticking up out of the solution because that that's sitting out of the solution will uh, get a little rough uh, look to it and then you need to sand it down a little bit in order to fix that. So with that being said, we will take it uh, for now and uh, we'll check back in a, f in a couple hours. Okay, so it's only been a couple of hours, so not going to be a whole lot of difference yet. I just want to come out here and make sure I push these all down, make sure that they're still covered. Usually this takes several days of being in the sunlight Although I'm seeing some difference already. But it's still got a long ways to go. They're not done by any means. Okay, so I had to move these a while ago because they were not no longer in the sun. And now they're no longer in the sun again. So this is the time where I pretty much wrap it up for my day because I've run out of sunlight in the area. So... 
I will go ahead and move these in for now and then move them out in the morning and we'll take it from there. Okay, so I've had to move these a couple of times now uh, just to get them into the sunlight and it's getting to being about what is it, about 2.30 in the afternoon. I'm not going to have much more sun here in this area either. Maybe another hour I give it and then the shadows are going to hit. Unfortunately, I live in an area with a bunch of trees, so I don't get a whole lot of sunlight directly on my property that I'm at right now. But as you can see, they, they're they starting to whiten up pretty well already. And again, I just want to make sure that they're below the, the line of the level of the water, which it looks like pretty good. But it looks like they're still needing some time out in the sun to, to get totally done, but we'll uh, check on these tomorrow. Okay, so these have been out here for about 20, oh, about actually close to 25 hours, and they're looking pretty good. So I think I'm gonna leave them out most of the day today, bring them in tonight and see what they look like in uh, inside because it, it kind of can fool you being out in the sun so I like to take them inside and compare but right now they're looking all pretty good I'm gonna have to go get some more peroxide though because it seems like a lot of it's already evaporated away enough that it's making it more difficult to keep these pieces submerged and it's very important to keep them submerged otherwise again they will get a look of abrasion to them and so then you have to uh, carefully sand them down a little bit and I don't want to have to go through that process so I'm just trying to get these to uh, whiten up and it looks like they're doing pretty good some of them are still yellow I think that one's still yellow but We'll uh, just keep them in the sun and keep it going. Check in later. All right, so I went and picked up some more hydrogen peroxide and I'm adding it to these. That's really good. I just wanna to top these off to make sure I've got plenty in all of these. This one, they're all kind of floating in there. But it looks like that one really needs some more. Unfortunately, it does evaporate away, so you gotta keep an eye on it. But, well, looks like we'll check on them in a couple more hours. All right, so we're out here I had to move them again, get them out into the sun again. I'm probably only down to about another hour. And then I'll have to either try and see if I can move them to the backyard or they're pretty much gonna be pulled inside. We'll see. We'll see how they are in a couple hours. All right, talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, everybody, as you can see, I went ahead and brought the bricks in. Uh, at this point, what I'll do is go ahead and drain these bricks, and I like to go ahead and reuse the hydrogen peroxide as much as possible. So what I will do is drain this out and get the uh, peroxide back into the bottles. Uh, then I will go ahead and get these bricks laid out onto a uh, towel and get them started drying and everything so I will go ahead and start doing that and I will pick it up at the towel all right everybody so here they are I'm just trying to lay them out to where they will drain out really well uh, and I wanted to show you I brought this piece out 
This is a brand new one. This one I got from Lego store itself. I think it was maybe three months ago. It's been sitting inside my box. It has not been used yet. So brand spanking new. Then we'll take one of these. So let's see. We can take one of these, two of these. Here, we'll take both of these. Set them right there. And then place the new one. Look how white they came out. That's just amazing, isn't it? It, it The first time I did it, I thought, yeah, it's probably not going to work. But no, it, it works really, 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 really well. Like I said, that's brand new. This one I just took out of the bath. Looks pretty good. This one I just took out of the bath. Looks pretty good. Now I did see one or two in here that looked a little yellow yet, but I will take care of that when I get to that point. Just right now, uh, I wanted to go ahead and get these finished draining, so I want to take it and make sure that they're right side up. Again, new piece. Look at that. Shined right up. You guys remember how yellow those were. They looked really, really bad. So, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and let these get dried off. I'm going to try and use the towel to wipe some of it off as well to help speed up the process. But... The best thing I found is you gotta leave it at least overnight to uh, drain all of this stuff out. So, like I said, that's uh, that's where we're at at this point, and I will pick it up in a little bit. Bye. And one of the things I forgot to mention was I took these and I put them in. Uh, this uh, kind of a laundry bag, I guess, uh, type of uh, deal. Uh, and what I did is I took them and put them all in here, and then I took it outside and I just kind of swung it around to get uh, a lot of that to drain off. I don't trust putting it in the dryer. I wouldn't suggest it. It can get way too hot in a dryer, melt all your plastic, so they're not a good idea. Uh, I have done it once in a while on a spin, uh, just doing the uh, spin and rinse cycle on a on the uh, washer. I've done it that way before, but again, I still seem to have to take it outside and, you know, like I said, kind of twirl it around and get some of the excess water off. Okay, so I've gone ahead and laid out all of the parts out of the tub that they came all the tubs that they came in all the different containers and you can see how much whiter they look for the white pieces and of course the two gray ones and you look at look at that difference that's incredible you got you guys remember what it looked like before we started i mean the yellow Yellow's pretty much come off of most all the pieces. There might be a little bit left in some of these, but not too bad. Now, I did pull aside some pieces that, uh, that are definitely still showing yellow that I want to go ahead and put out there in another bath. But other than that, that is going to be it. I'm going to get these pieces put back uh, into my storage area containers and that way they are ready for my next mock and that will end this video for now and with that being said i will see you guys in the next one take care everybody bye bye